real and virtual images let's represent the boy with an arrow pointing up and here is a plain mirror let the top of the arrow be top of the head of the boy when we see in the mirror it seems to be formed behind the mirror let us consider two light rays coming from the top of the arrow the rays are incident on the mirror and get reflected back these rays are moving away from the lens that means they are diverging let us extend these rays in the backwards these rays will meet at a point this will be the top of the image when we look from this point all rays appear to be diverging but in real there is no there is no rays behind the mirror here image is formed when reflected rays are extended in backwards this image is called as a virtual image let us try to know the definition of a virtual image a virtual image is which appears to be formed in a position somewhere behind the mirror every plane mirror forms virtual images let's try to know what is a real image let's replace the plane mirror with a concave mirror because a concave mirror forms a real image let's assume that the light rays are incident on the mirror the reflected rays will follow laws of reflection let's try to know the difference between the reflection of plane mirror and concave mirror in plane mirror all reflected rays are diverging but in concave mirror all reflected rays are converging at a point the image of the top of the arrow forms at this point this is called a real image a real image is formed by the converging of reflected rays the real images formed by a concave mirror are always inverted 